Hello, everybody. How y'all doing out there? This is Chris with Lorespire. I know it's been a while, but uh, the new Fallout uh, TV series had me jonesing to play some Fallout. Uh, so I downloaded a mod list called Wasteland Prospects just to uh, give myself something that I hadn't seen before and hopefully y'all something that you haven't seen before. Uh, and we're going to be playing New Vegas with the Wasteland Prods Prospects uh, mod list. So hopefully we get to see some cool, funny, awesome stuff that uh, that we've never seen before. As well as the same old, awesome uh, Fallout New Vegas that we all know and love. Anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and get this started. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? 
You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. What's up, Chris? And what's up, Nathan? Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, glad to be back here playing some Fallout. Um, and yeah, actually, I, I was thinking the same thing, Nathan. Uh, I just didn't want to say anything to uh, to interrupt the opening scene, but yeah, R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Yeah, it's a it's a great line. It's a phenomenal line. Agreed. Okay, so some of the mods that have been um, installed with the Wasteland Prospects are apparently going to give random text-based encounters when fast traveling and when sleeping. So I have no idea what that's going to be like, but sounds like it could be pretty interesting. We're going to find out. How about that? Whoa, easy there. Easy. You've been out cold. All right, let me uh, let, let me let me fix those. Let's uh, let's see how that does. Let me know if that's better. I feel like it should be. A couple of days now. Why don't you just relax? And also, it's up, simple Get gamer. Oh, and 34 Let's Blackula. All right. I'm How glad I'm playing name? tonight. Everybody's showing up. Can you tell me your name? You haven't played any of the Fallout series, Blackula? Have you at least seen the uh, the show that came out on Prime? Because it's really good. It's, uh, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely worth watching, even if you don't know Fallout. But um, the Fallout series is pretty amazing, so I, I would suggest it. If you like open world sandbox games with, um, you know, um, strong RPG, or strong RPG elements and factions, and you know the the post-apocalyptic setting and and all that kind of stuff, then you would you would definitely like it. Or even if you just like uh, most of those most of those things. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. I'm not How'd as familiar as you are with the with this apparently, Nathan, but as Rene Abergeois, Abergeois, Abergeois. Um, is that the uh, actor who voiced Mr. House in uh, New Vegas here? I'm, I'm gonna guess. What's up, Igor? Damn, I'm really glad uh, everybody's showing up. That's awesome. Yeah, New Vegas is uh, pretty, pretty damn great. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's. You can mostly blame this on the uh, the TV series that came out with Amazon, though. It. Um, had me Jones in to play some some Fallout, and considering season two is almost certainly going to be uh, set in New Vegas, or at least part of it is. Um, figured New Vegas would be a or the uh, the best Fallout to play. Not to mention it's it's arguably the best anyways, even if uh, even if you don't uh, take that into account. Um. I'm not really a big fan of the character creator, though, to be honest. So we're just going to stick with some basic stuff here. I'm not going to go too far into customization. Hmm, maybe we can change the hairstyle a little bit. Um... 
I don't know. I actually like the bald look for female characters in the Fallout games. Um, so we might. Oh, we might. Uh, Wow, that is... I don't know. What the hell is that? I probably just should have just kept uh, whatever we had originally. Yeah, let's go see here. I forget what it was exactly. No, no. It was something with a bun. Okay, I'm trying out every hairstyle here and I'm not seeing what we started out with originally. All right, well, that's it. I'm sorry. My apologies. All right, we're just going to go with blast back, I guess. Oh, well, it's a great game, Igor. An amazing game. You can get it pretty much on the cheap now if you ever feel like you want to uh, play it. French royalty, huh, Nathan? That's um, an interesting fact. Yeah, that's a good point about uh, AI creation. If they get that into games, then... Don't remember ever having to select a birthday before. Was it always like that? It's been several, several years since I've played New Vegas. Um... All right, you know, sure. That that seems like a a wonderful birth date. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that vigor tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. There we go. All right, time to assign some points. Always a fun point of the game. Um, see, we're going to drop strength. The last time I played this, which is, I don't know, it's been five years ago, six years ago, maybe. Um, it's definitely been a pretty long while, but I actually went with the melee build, which was freaking amazing, and I loved it, but uh, we're going to do something different uh, this go-round. Um, I probably should have planned out my character, but yeah, we're. I know intelligence is overpowered as all hell. Um... Still, I don't... Yeah, let's go with, like, nine. That's that's pretty overpowered, right? Um, let's see. Let's grab some agility. Let's drop some charisma. And... I know in the base game that 
that uh, you pretty much didn't need any charisma at all, but I don't know if that's going to be the case uh, with the the mods that we have installed. So let's just let's just keep it at three charisma. That that seems okay, I guess. Go ahead and throw one more on there, and let's throw on some more perception. There we go. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's probably not optimal, but we're gonna run with it. All right, now we can tag up to three skills, same as always. So that's cool. Um, definitely gonna be going with guns here. We are going to have to eat and drink and, uh, you know, uh, watch the, the survival kind of aspects. Those are going to be uh, in play here. So maybe we'll put some points into survival there. And I always like using explosives. But probably at least in the beginning, yeah, let's let's concentrate on medicine, at least in the beginning. Okay, that looks good. Guns, medicine, survival, I like it. Now, this right here is definitely one of the awesomest things about uh, Fallout New Vegas. They give you all these traits that you can choose from in the beginning. And I know recently a lot more games have started doing this, but at the time that it came out, like, uh, very few games did that. And then for what the hell ever reason, Bethesda did not allow you to do this in, like, uh, Skyrim or Fallout 4 or... Anyways, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty much every RPG should give you this or some equivalent to this, I think, at the beginning. Okay, so we're going to take four eyes, gives us plus one perception with glasses, minus one perception without it. That's, that's always pretty good. Glasses are easy to come by, if I remember correctly. And we do have a lot of intelligence, which would mitigate the minus 15 experience from this, but eh, I don't know. I still kind of don't like it. You know what? Let's go with this. Trigger discipline. 20% more accurate with guns and energy weapons, but you fire them 20% slower and AP costs are 20% higher. Hey, what's up, Random? How you doing? How you doing, my friend? Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming. You've been playing Fallout 3 a lot lately? Yeah, I, I, well, I've already said this several times, but you haven't heard it, so I, I watched the new Fallout TV series and it... Yeah, I, I had to play some Fallout after that. It's been years since I've played any significant amount of it, so. All right, let's go ahead and go with that. And Wild Wasteland. All right, yes, let's have a wild, wacky playthrough. I'm all about that. Um, we are going to buy the ticket and take the ride through the Wild Wasteland. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. All right, huh. I guess that about yeah, does it. Yeah, maybe they did. Come with me, I'll see you out. Oh, that's it? There's no ink blot test or Okay. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Yeah, thanks, Doc, for patching me up and for giving me a pit boy, which is probably more valuable than almost anything else in the wasteland. Um, and some clothes. Like, yeah, you're you're pretty awesome and uh, definitely a good guy. Thanks for that. I uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. 
She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. That's good advice that hopefully I'll be able to take. Okay, so apparently they've added casino heists. Um, where you can do what it would sound like and rob casinos. I gotta find some information on how to reach the casino vaults. Yeah, I'm sure the owners conveniently left blueprints of each casino lying around somewhere in the main floors of each respective casino. Wow, they sure are careless. Okay, that'll be a long ways off. It's going to be a long time before I get to any casinos. Oh, there's my favorite robot, buddy. Among the chatter of the Mojave, we catch an encrypted radio signal. Okay. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How'd you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who the men Can't were? say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Never seen a robot I'm like a you. Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. All right, Happy well, trails. thanks, Victor. You and the doc are uh, pretty awesome. Uh, we should check our pit boy. There we go. We will. What else do we have? Some stim packs, doctor's bag, anti venom right away. It's cool, cool. Some water, purified water. A little bit of food. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh, are we? Yeah, we're wearing it. I guess I can actually see right there that we are. All right, come on. We're in town. We don't want to threaten anybody. Put that gun away. What? What the hell? All right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I definitely do not remember there being a super mutant in Good Springs before. This is this is definitely got a... Oh, yeah. There definitely wasn't, especially not with that name. Definitely a, a, a mod thing. Let's stop this. Motherfucker? Talk. What brings you to Good Springs? Motherfucker. That motherfucker waves his arms and gesticulates for several awkward moments. <laughs> efforting in vain to convey his motives for loitering in Good Springs. You eventually reach the conclusion that he seeks to have carnal knowledge of a Deathclaw or other horned fauna. Wow. Okay, so it's like 10 minutes in and I can already get a super mutant companion, huh? To me, that feels just a little bit overpowered. Also, um, the 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 people of Good Springs must be much more open-minded than I would have anticipated to just let a super mutant and one who doesn't even seem to be able to talk just hang out here. Um, all right. Hooray for open-mindedness. 
Anyways, we're supposed to go see uh, Sunny Smiles, I think it was, here in the tavern. Hey, Toker88. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you for dropping Cheyenne, on stay. in. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, the doc said that you could uh, teach me some things to help me survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, that sounds good to me. Apparently the dog already Howdy. knows where she's going. Oh, put that away, put that away. It's going to take me a little while to get used to the buttons here. Oh, and thanks, everybody, for the likes. I just noticed. We got eight viewers and eight likes. Y'all are awesome. Definitely, definitely appreciate that. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yep, Take I see them. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Everything all right? No, no, I'm just trying Until to take the gun time. from you. Come on, give me the gun. Oh, she already did. Okay. I guess she... Alright, okay. I have the gun. That's all that matters. Oh, I'm a terrible shot. I can't even hit a bottle. That's the right idea. Look there down we the go. Sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, yeah. Definitely less sway there. No. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure, I'm in. That sounds Follow like me. it's uh, just it's the just kind down of, to the uh, of short ways. training that I need. Although I feel like this was supposed to be a BB gun, wasn't it? Or am I misremembering that? Yeah, Toker88, uh, definitely one of the best RPGs ever. Never seen a modded playthrough. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to play the game, but I, I've played it through and gotten every ending, most of them multiple times. Um, so I figured they, they have this mod list, uh, you know, set of mods called uh, uh, Wasteland Prospects. It's like hundreds of mods, and so anyways, I downloaded and installed it, and... Yeah, we're going to see what's different. It's supposed to keep everything from the base game, but just kind of improve on everything and add a bunch of bunch more stuff. But we should still get like the same main story and DLC stories and all of that kind of stuff. So should just be a New Vegas Plus. All right, come on. Do you know where these geckos are? Because I'm starting to get the, the um, impression that maybe you don't. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. All right. I can move quietly. I know how to sneak. Aren't they supposed to show up as okay, red on. dots on, on my... Okay. Well, there it is. Kill the geckos at the well. All right, I can see it. I can see it. Oh. The name of the quest there, I don't like that. I don't like the way the mod saying the name of the quest there. Ah! All right. There we go. Got you, little sucker. All right, let's go ahead and reload. Anything here that I want? Probably don't really need a tin can, but... Nice. I gotta go... Yeah, I have survival skills. I should go get a, some gecko meat from you, too. 
Oh, come on. I was able to cut up the other one, but not this one. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. I think I can drink out of this, although I don't necessarily need to. I'm sure you all have already noticed by now, but we actually have food, water. Oh. You know what? What, um... What difficulty settings are we on? Because I did not look at that. Um, gameplay. Hardcore, hardcore mode is on, so that's good. Okay, we're on easy. That's that's not going to do. This should be very hard. My bad, my bad. We probably wouldn't have died in the tutorial anyways. So hopefully that's, that's all right with everybody. And I just want to make sure that that did save. Yes, we're on very hard now. All right, all right. We don't want this to be a cheap experience, right? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps. All right, I can come I can use a few caps and I need to see just how tough these things are going to be now that we're on very hard difficulty. Seem terribly hard. I'm taking you down. Oh, I feel like a wow. Okay, maybe that's just because she's a badass though, and she's one-shotting them. Yeah, I think that was more her than me. I do like the way the the, the butchering animation that we get here. That is pretty cool. Wait, wait, wait. Did she, did she leave me? Or is she up here? I don't want to drink irradiated water. I can hear her shooting somewhere. Where did she go? Over here, I guess. You're, you're somebody else. You're welcome. Also, apparently falling hurts. I didn't feel like I fell far enough to get hurt, but um, all right, definitely going to have to be careful with the falling. Take some nails. I really wish there was a way to sprint. I feel like I am way too slow here. Oh, I should probably talk to her, huh? All right, I think we're done here. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure, All right, then. Hurt. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, the graveyard and the schoolhouse. I... It's been a long time, but I think our... Well, I, I have a quest marker there, so I guess I don't have to remember where they're at. Yep, I'll bet that's the schoolhouse and that's the graveyard. Oh, what is this? A dead bounty? Well, I'm glad I didn't have to fight this guy. He's got a 357 Magnum, Bounty Hunter's Duster, Desperado Cowboy. You know what? I, um, I'm glad I didn't have to fight him, but is this something I'd like to wear? Increases my damage threshold by four. Charisma one, guns plus five. Feel like that is better, but it's almost destroyed. And eh, whatever. We're not going to wear that after all. But 
We did get a 357 Magnum revolver. Um, wait, how do I? Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and put that there and our environment rifle here. And I feel like, yeah, that uh, 357 Magnum is definitely gonna be a lot more. Oh, it's actually not as much as the nine millimeter pistol, but it's, it's definitely more than the barment rifle. All right, all right, we're already getting a pretty good selection of weapons here. Random, you like the, um, the exp I think that one's called Dead Money, right? The uh, Sierra Nevada Casino, or Sierra Madre Casino. Yeah. I, if I remember correctly, that one was extremely difficult. Like a lot of puzzle type stuff that you got to figure out. If I remember correctly, I'm not looking forward to doing that, especially especially streaming that. You're going to laugh, you, laugh at me. And you're going to slap your heads and you're going to be like, damn, this is boring as shit. Why can't you figure this out? While I just run around in circles trying to, you know, figure it out. No, no, no. Okay. Screw your hopping little... Oh, wow. I don't have enough AP to fire twice. That sucks. Maybe, maybe taking the, uh, the trait that I did was not a good idea. I don't even have enough AP to fire this thing twice. The ammo for this has got to be cheaper, right? I feel like it's got to be cheaper. There we go. Xander root. All right, we got it. As long as we're here, we may as well go inside the schoolhouse, see what we can find in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the Cazadors. They're definitely one of the more annoying enemies, especially early on. Although I'm, I'm thinking we might end up being a bit uh, more of a longer range character. And if that's the case, as long as we can spot the Cazadors in time, they will hopefully not murder us. Ah, I can't hit you. No. Damn it. Oh. I don't know how I hit him with that last shot, but I guess I did. Oh, that's gross. Bug guts everywhere. Like there's probably not going to be any more mantises in here. I don't know. It's collecting junk a good thing in New Vegas. I mean, there's not really any building. I guess there is some weapon modding and stuff that maybe the junk can be used for. Aha. We need a science skill of 25, which we don't have, but if I remember correctly, there's... There it is, a programmer's digest. So we can use that programmer's digest to open this. This is probably kind of a waste, but screw it. We're going to do it. All right. Now we should. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now let's see if I can remember how to uh, do this. Four attempts left. All right. One of seven correct. Okay. So it can't be any ING. Anything that ends with ING. It could be this. It's not that. Uh-oh. 
Okay, so it's not mission, it's not ceiling. Can't be that. Can't be that. I think it's this. Holy crap. Okay, this... I, um... I may... Maybe I'm not very good at this. Last attempt. Last attempt. Okay, can't be that. Can't be that. Um... Ha! I got it! Did I get it? Nope. Damn it. I thought I got it. Okay, you can see it's been a long time since I've done this. Um, I thought that I had succeeded, but I failed. Woe is me. All right, well, can we unlock this? No, we don't have a high enough lockpick skill. Well, I used my frickin' programmer's digest for nothing. Hey, we did just get another rifle, though, so that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I used to be pretty good at that, but um, I don't know. Maybe I was having some performance anxiety, or maybe I just need a little more, uh, a little more practice. It has been years. But we'll get the next one. We'll get the next one. So yeah, anybody who has not given us a like so far, do me a favor, throw us a like. Definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, helps us out. Thanks for doing that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and give us a sub. Uh, you know, it's also uh, nice to have. Good to be appreciated. Now we're on our way up here to the graveyard. That That's not... What is this thing? That's not a Brahmin. A Wrath, a Roth. Is that what they're called? A big horner. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking of with a Roth. What is that? A scorpion? Definitely a lot smaller than I remember the scorpions being. But that's a bark scorpion, I guess, not a red scorpion. Hey, Shadowrun's fun, so... You know, if something works, then it's not the worst thing to copy them. Are these... These aren't Cazadors, right? Yeah, these are bloat flies. Like, I feel like these are definitely not dangerous enough to be Cazadors, and they're not. Alright, I'm almost out of ammo with that, which sucks. Especially since that's my best weapon. Here I am using all the ammo. Can I hit this? Yeah. 67%. Well, I thought it was pretty good. I think it'd be like three shots to kill anything here. That's no wonder I'm running out of ammo. Okay. 
I don't know where the thing is that I actually need. Oh, Benny's suit. Really? Why the hell would he leave a suit here? Sure, I'll take the chips. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. And that's why Benny's stuff is there. Damn. Feel kind of bad for stealing the stuff now that I realize why it was here, but... A snow globe. Cool. Alright, we got the Brock flowers. Got everything that we need. Wasn't... Thought you could... My memory is telling me that you can dig up one of these graves. Is that true? Yep, yeah, it's true. But I need a shovel. And I sure the hell do not know where to get one. But we'll keep our eyes open and... I bet we find a shovel eventually. Oh, are we over encumbered already? Damn, that sucks. Our weight's only 70, no wonder. Yeah, I guess we went a little, maybe a little too weak, maybe. Um, all right, let's drop those. Alright, we gotta find a fire, campfire, some way to cook because we have a lot of meat and it's weighing us down. And we just do not have the uh, extra carrying capacity to be carrying that around with us. Surely there's like a stove inside the, uh, the saloon or something that we can use. Yeah, I love inventory management. I don't know. I'd... Maybe we'll take a perk to increase our carry weight because, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think that that through. Seventy is terrible, especially because I'm a hoarder. Oh yeah, I grabbed the snow globe, random. Which I don't know if I did that before or after you said it, but I've got it. I've hey got there. It. Um. All right. No, you do not. Well, what the hell? I know, I know. I shouldn't be pointing my weapon at you, huh? Yeah, that's probably not very cool. Yeah. I kind of want what's in that safe, but I guess these people have been really, really nice to me, so... I, I, Howdy. I shouldn't rob them. We're not going to rob them. Loading bench. Hey, you're Don't a courier like me. Please. Don't bother me, please. Fine then. All right. Let's go in here. We can at least sell some stuff. Since we can't find any place to cook. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. 
He had a bunch of Great Khans with him, probably hired guns. The Great Khans normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Have you ever been there? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Anything you can tell me about the uh, Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. All right, and what about I'm Mr. House? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, we're not getting lag, are we? Let me know if you are getting lag. Hey, Sammy boy. How you doing, Sam? Hope you are doing well. Thank you for showing up. Take it easy now. Oh, wait. I wanted to you buy You looking to buy you. some supplies? Can do. All right. So, I do need some more ammo, but what's more important... Okay, I don't want to sell my amp. I will sell you nails. Um, okay, I don't know what good these things are. I'm just going to sell them because I need the space. Or rather, the the weight capacity, I guess. Duct tape seems like it could be useful. Cherry bombs. Okay, that's all fine. Good, good. Keeping that. Keeping all this. Thanks for the, uh, the ammo. Howdy. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're hanging in there. How's, uh, Scorched Earth going? All right, I don't want to steal your stuff. You're a settler. Can I go inside your house and use your stove? Presumably you have one. Steal, steal. All right, so apparently I can't use his stove to cook. All right, well, that's fine. Let's just go turn in our quest and 
Uh, we'll get the hell out of here, Howdy. if nothing else. Yeah, the cons are cool, you know, as far as raiders go. All right, where did where did she go? She should be in here, right? Maybe not. Okay, are these question marks at the bottom quest turn-ins, maybe? All right, well now I'm curious. I gotta go. I gotta go figure out what this question mark is. Keep out. Well, that's not a good sign. I didn't know there was a sewer to Good Springs. Has that always been there, or is that a mod thing? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try to be sneaky here. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's activate that. Yep, I want to trigger that. Oh, dude, you just, you just reminded me, um, whenever you said soundtrack. We should totally have the frickin' radio on, right? Yes, we should. I have not heard this music in forever. Um, radio. Anybody have a preference? How about we start out with the... We'll start out with Mojave Music Radio. If anybody wants the radio changed, just let me know. found my barn yeah I was trying to make something to get myself out of the sun and then I found out that even with uh, a barn and being inside of it that, that didn't protect me from it unfortunately okay mole rat Nothing, uh, nothing too scary. I'm not, uh, I'm not intimidated by no mole rats. Although that long, uh, animation could be a problem if I'm getting attacked whenever it happens. That bottle. Ooh, some Nuka-Cola. Clear and great. Sweet. Yeah, I need some old cash, huh?
Oh, no, we didn't. Damn it. Oh, I suck. I suck. I had enough AP. I could have killed that one if I'd been faster on the draw. All right. Let's uh let's do this again, but let's uh let's not die this time. Shed some medics. Disarm the bear trap, that's fine. Did I just... Yes, I did. Damn it. drink those duca colas before damn it no way to unlock that right i need cash all right let's uh let's eat some food now so we can save our stim packs for later uh food let's, let's eat let's eat that gecko steak We just picked up two Nuka Colas. Oh, apparently, they're not drinks. All right, well, we've got those in reserve this time. Like Johnny Guitar? I don't remember where Johnny Guitar is. Let's hey, let's try Radio New Vegas. Mr. New Vegas letting you know I've hey, got Mr. a new, new Christmas compilation coming out soon. Nuclear Winter Wonderland. Look for it on Holotape. Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. One solar power plant remains dormant despite NCR's effort to reactivate the facility. The chief scientist at the plant vowed to fix the problem, placing it on an atmosphere of, quote, severe underappreciation. You know, I think all news, whether it's good or bad, brings us closer together. Don't you? Come on, come on, I know you are coming. coming your way. Come on, right AP. Now. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at this, apparently. Let's, um, let's go out, I guess. Now, you know what? I almost had them. I almost had them. We're going to give it one more try. One more try. Especially since I saved.
I'll get used to the difficulty. I'll get used to the difficulty and uh, it'll be all good. It'll be all good. Just gotta get back into the swing of things. be coming. Oh yeah, we got him. Get a little bit closer. No, uh, I want a headshot. We're still in danger. I thought we'd made it. There we go. Still more? What the hell? Where are y'all at? Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be proud. Maybe I should be embarrassed. All right, Sam, probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. that there aren't any more large groups of rodents down here so I can switch to my you know what I better not do that I'm gonna die again let's get back to the good weapon oh what is that is that a is that a ghoul that sounds like a ghoul or was I imagining things Hidden, we're hidden. This All right, all right. Not seeing anything. Better not be any freaking Meyer lurks here. I'm going to be pissed. Well, I'll probably be more dead than pissed. Ooh, a grenade, a flash Deal fatigue damage, reduce enemy weapon skills, have a chance to frenzy tunnelers. Okay. Is that water? That is water, right? Yes, that's water. Okay. For a second, I thought it looked like fog, maybe. All right. What do we have over here? Broken terminal, probably not going to do anything. Nope. All right. Um, do I see anything in the water that I want to go down there for? Because it's going to give me a bunch of... Oh, shit. I should heal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I really should have cooked some food. Definitely really should have done that. There you go.
All right, let's just go ahead and drink one of those. We're getting a little dehydrated anyways. We don't have any stem packs left. All right. There's got to be something down here, right? I don't see anything. All right, so it looks like I may have just wasted my time coming down here. Although, I don't think I became irradiated for going into that water. Was that not a thing in New Vegas? Maybe it wasn't, isn't? Oh, hell. I don't know. What's up with the patterns on the water? That's a little bit annoying. One of the mods isn't dry jiving super well, I guess. Ooh, uh, a safe, which I can't unlock, so that was a waste. Okay, I've got to get lock picking. My lock picking skill up to at least 25 at level 2. Because it's damned annoying not being able to pick any locks. Also, you should be sneaking. What happened to our radio?
How about we get something a little happier on the We're radio? Back. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I feel something magic in the air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the gamma radiation. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Word out of Camp Golf is that many NCR Rangers can expect redeployment in the near future. One anonymous soldier said it was part of a new strategy. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. This next song helped me through a very difficult time in my life. And I hope one day it can do the same for you. All right. Hey, at least there's a campfire here so I can cook, right? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right, healing powder. Yeah, let's make those gecko steaks because that's what I really need. Yes, we did.
sure. Earth and Radio? The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I'm not even sure if I can fix it, but sure, I'll look at it. All right, that's good enough. Be careful out there. This radio, is that it? One anonymous official told us a serious mechanical failure would have been a disaster because of the hey, age hey, of the train all right. and the scarcity We're able to fix it. of the replacement parts. Yeah. In other news, word out of Camp Golf is that many NCR rangers can expect all right, well, let's go see Ring in the Ringo. Near future. One anonymous soldier said hey, that was part of a new strategy. The preceding segment was sponsored by the Silver Rush. Silver Rush. Feel the razor in your hand. Got some Dean Martin coming up. Talking about the greatest feeling in the world. Love. Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> sure is. Dino, it sure is. Radio New Vegas, your little jukebox in the Mojave Wasteland. I am Mr. New Vegas, and I'm here for you. I've got news for you. Caesar's Legion continues to fortify his position in Nelson, where it remains a... Oh, that's all of our money. Okay, hold still. ...in the nearby town of Novak. One more story Still a lot cheaper you. than a stem pack, though. Citizens of Outer Vegas are flocking to the strip in droves amid a wave of terror caused by a band of raiders known as the Fiends. Those who can afford passports are saying the added security is well worth the price of admission. You know, I think all news, whether it's good or bad, brings us closer together. Don't you? Got some songs oh, coming up for you broken? right now. At least one is probably about love.
Now, sick with minor dehydration. That sucks, but I can handle that, I guess. Howdy. I don't want you. I don't want you. I thought... Did I get the wrong house? I think I got the wrong house. Looks like I got the right house. Howdy. Okay, I don't really care about you. Ah, there she is. I swear that said settler before. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gangers, and I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Guess what I don't have? A silver tongue. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Well, I think I do have a magazine to help me barter. How do I get Easy the Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. Okay. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh, a magazine for... If the lock's too much nice, for you to handle, nice. reading through the magazine. All right. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. All right, all right. I Always happy it, to help it. someone down on their luck. Cool. I'll be waiting. It pays to talk to people. Hey, hello, Matt. How you doing? Oh, is this Matsy? Did you change your name, Matsy? I thought it was a uh, different, uh, Matt. It's the mods. The mods make it, uh, look like that. You know, just adding some, some flavor, I guess. I downloaded, um, the Wasteland Prospects, um, mod list. And um, I, I don't even know all the changes that it makes, so it's kind of in some ways like a blind playthrough. But yeah, there's a lot of stylistic, small stylistic changes that it makes like that. How are you holding up? We're going to be attacked by bandits, and I know you love me, so how about you help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg, and my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Yeah, they'll be using explosives. Do you have something more serious for the injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. All right, we got some medical supplies. Freaking sweet. Thanks, Doc. You take care now. Ah, and we got level two. Yes. We can get the 25 lockpick. Ah, 
And we can go open up all those locks. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think for Easy Pete, we need explosive skill to get his explosives. And we could use some speech skill, but even if we put the remainder of our points in there, it's not going to be enough to get us to 25. So, oh well about that. Yeah, you know what? I, I intend to use explosives eventually anyways. So let's just go ahead and get to 25 explosives, which will hopefully be enough for Pete to, uh, to fork over what he's got. Okay, now. Our first perk here. Barter? What's... Yeah, my barter's not high enough either. I'm sure I'd have to get it to at least 25. Um... Yeah. Okay, so Swift Learner... You get an additional 10% uh, to total experience whenever experience. Like, I feel like that's what we should get just because I like gaining more levels. But, um, what, what, what do you all think? Throw me some ideas. Throw me some ideas. Do y'all agree with Swift Learner? Or... Do you, do you like one of these other ones here? I'm drawing a bow. I don't remember there being bows. Interesting. Alright, if we find a bow, we're, we're going to use bows. Because that is definitely not uh, a thing that I've done before. Okay. So we could take some bow perks for whenever we finally find a bow. We could take Swift Learner. We could do some intense training, which I don't really think I want to go that route. I kind of like Hunter. Hunter's not, I mean, it's not great, but it could be cool. All right, well, we're gonna go with Swift Learner then. Um, yep, that's the way we're going. More experience, always a good thing. And we can get to like level 50, I think, uh, with all the DLCs, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's take Swift Learner. Makes sense, Toker. Yeah, I definitely got that. Okay, so we, we got the supplies from Doc Smiley. I'm actually interested. What exactly did he give us? Um, oh, wow. Looks like he gave us a lot of stuff. Five stem packs. And I think two doctor's bags, because I think we already had one. But yeah, that's five stem packs. That's like... 730 caps, I want to say. Something like that. Alright, Chetty boy. Here I come. Well, that 25 signs probably would have been good if I'd seen you say that before I um, set the points. But I don't think I could have gotten the explosives if I did that. Hey there. But I will make sure at level to three to get the 25 science for sure. I, uh, I didn't realize I was at 23. Should have uh, looked closer, I guess. Need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Thousand caps? The town's at stake. That has to be worth more than a few supplies. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What do you know about the if situation? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. All right, you know what? Take. Ha! Ha ha! You are. Oh, it's only plus six barter. That's not enough, is it? I thought these were supposed to be plus twenty-five. Damn it. Yeah, that's that's not going to be enough. Barter is eleven. That's only gonna get us to seventeen. Never mind. Thought I was gonna be slick with that magazine. But um apparently my memory failed me. Or one of the mods changed it, one way or the other. Well, I mean, in a way, I get that. Swift Learner kind of is a waste. Like, if you're... It kind of is. But I want to get levels faster, just, you know. And I want to get the levels quicker and level up quicker so that I can choose more perks quicker and all that. Like, it just, it improves the pace of the game, I think. But you're right, there's enough experience to max out oh. your levels anyways. You're absolutely right about that. Okay, who was I? Wait a minute. I needed Pete. He's on the porch, isn't he? Petey, Petey, you're... I swear he's supposed to be right there. Yeah, he's in his damn house, ain't he? All right, wake up, old man. I'm not sure. Something with a saxophone. Yeah, there's Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I need bombs. I hear you got some dynamite. It would help us beat them powder gangers, sir. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better leave it buried. Safer that way. Oh yeah? Well, how about uh -huh. this? Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. You know anything about the people who attacked The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. As much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay. Keep your That's gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Got it. I do enjoy using explosives. They are fun. So Chet's really the only one that's left and I can't actually do anything about him. So... Actually, I think it's Sunny Smiles I should go to, right? And then go back to, uh, to Ringo. More likely it's one of the mods. But yeah, I'm ready for a change, actually. Do you like Caravan? Do you also like Caps? Well, come on down to the Crimson Caravan for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We are hosting Can't wait a until caravan we get close to with a prize Black Rock pool Mountain. of 20,000 caps, open to anyone. Uh, 
I think that's the uh, the best radio if I remember correctly. Cheap proof establishment and believe in the heart of the cards. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Do you also like cats? Well, come on down to the Crimson Caravan for a once in a lifetime opportunity. We are hosting a caravan tournament with a prize pool of 20,000 caps. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks for You're the welcome. caps. So can I get you anything? Well, since I did you a favor, how about... All the more reason for me to sit this one out. I'll be rooting for you, though. Don't think we're going to get Trudy's help. That's unfortunate. All right. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Well, I guess two out of four isn't terrible, right? Howdy. Do you like Not great, caravan? But... Do you also like caps? Well, come on down to the Crimson Caravan for a once in a lifetime opportunity. We are hosting a caravan tournament with a prize pool of 20,000 caps. Open to anyone. Entry fee is 500 caps, so wander down to our state of the art, cheap proof establishment and believe in the heart of the cards. Terms and conditions apply. We are not responsible for your death. Random, I'm surprised at you. These good folks like who caravan? saved my life you and also helped like me caps? and well, come you want to steal the from them. Caravan for a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, and we probably every other playthrough I've ever had, I have stolen from them, but we're going to be a little nicer this time. Okay, this radio is annoying. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Let's see what I have for explosives. Oh, and I should save too. I should probably save. Um, okay. What explosives do we have? The flashman. Okay. Damn it, Pete. Why didn't you give me your... Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. I hope Let's you hope don't blow me up. the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. We need... We need some water. Because we're dehydrated. There we go. Much better. And our weapons. Now we have explosives, dynamite. Very nice. Remember that, but maybe I just never realized it was Mark Hamill. All right, they're coming. They're pretty far away, though. They're pretty far away. Oh, it's probably safe. Oh yeah, after this, don't let me forget to go and unlock those doors and everything in the sewers. All right, they're coming, they're coming. Let's see if we can get them in a crossfire here, because I think they're going to come up like that, so maybe we can get over here and flank them. All right? Sounds like a pretty good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting around behind them, which is either going to be a brilliant idea or... A terrible idea. Oh, 
Wait, am I gonna miss the entire fight? Maybe I'm gonna miss the entire fight. Um, okay, no fighting? There, how about that? Oh, damn it. No, 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 leave me alone. Come on, people, you're supposed to be helping me here. Oh my god. That was scary. No, they... I guess they are called powder gangers. Of course they'd have explosives too. Um... Alright, that barbant rifle ain't gonna do crap. Alright, how do I use this stuff? No! Did that work? Had enough. my medical supplies because we are apparently needing that we are needing that
Alright, I will save as soon as I'm done here for sure. Okay, this, this is just the 9mm. I think the reason why maybe this is worth so much is just because of the condition that it's in. Although it does have quite good DPS too. Alright, um... Alright, get rid of that, get rid of this. Do you have any 9mm ammo, guy? I know I bought most of it from you earlier. It's a hollow point, and this is... Well, crap. You don't really have any ammo for me, do you? Alright, fine. Whatever. Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy. We still have a ton more stuff to loot out there. Is it raining? It is raining. That is pretty cool. You can hear the rain pattering on the roof from inside. For for just a second or two, I was like, is it raining like at my house? And then I realized like, yeah, that it must be. I do like the weather effect. This is pretty good. This is pretty damn good. I want to say that's Fallout 4, but it could be New Vegas as well. Can I look at the perks right now? I can just look at... Yeah, I don't think I can except for whenever we're leveling, right? Yeah. That's alright, that's alright. No, I don't want to do that. Down to my last five bullets. With this thing. I do like shotguns. So I'm glad to get that. Take your stuff. Your stuff. Endurance five. Well, I have the endurance, but I'm never gonna get the five strength. Actually, I think you could do the training three times. If I want to say maybe, and that would give you the five strength, but that's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of perks. That's four perks. Three for the plus three strength, and then. Uh, Strong back itself. I don't. I don't think I can use that many perks on carry weight. Although I may get annoyed enough at some point hey, that I you looking to buy some hell supplies? With it and do it anyways. Can do. Okay. I, I'm actually looking to sell some supply. Oh, I should use that to repair. So yeah, we're gonna save that to. Re actually, no. We have this. So we can sell you and sell you. The varmint rifle is terrible, but I'm having an ammo issue right now, so I need to keep that. Same thing for the shotgun. Ammo issue, we'll keep that. Cleaver, machete can both go. Um, yeah, baseball bat too. What are we wearing right now? Powder Ganger, simple outfit. Plain outfit better, it's basically the same thing. All right, well, let's sell that one. Sell it.
so I think I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna keep that as a backup, and I'm gonna wear this caravanner outfit, I think. Now, do we want to be a... With the caravanner outfit, the cowboy hat probably fits better, so we'll get rid of the baseball cap. Get rid of these cartons of cigarettes. And I think we're actually good there. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Get yeah, I could use some more ammo if your ammo didn't suck. Uh, weapons, guns. Okay. So let's go ahead. doing training or maybe with like uh, only one point of training that might be worth it I think Big Mountain is going to have to be the first DLC that we do is it Big Mountain that has that? I'm pretty sure it's Big Mountain that had the implants Adventurer. Peace, cool. traveler. Sign says you go south. Just look for the roller coaster. Oh, and don't go north. A caravan just got sacked up the road. What if I go it around the It just gets caravan? worse the further north you go. Death claws. Death in general. But it's your ass, I suppose. You have anything to That's trade? That's a dangerous question. Ask the way a bandit might ask. But since we're close to town, I'll trust your good intentions. I could use some stem packs. How about some nice bloat fly steaks in trade? Bloat fly, fly steaks for stem packs? You're freaking crazy.
should be able to turn all these into water, I think. I don't really care about the harmonica. And If I wanted to be like uh, absolutely maximally optimal and all that, to me that's less fun.
Okay. All right. I think it worked that time. Yep. We got on the powder ganger guard armor. Sweet. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done this. All right. Man, this thing's really touchy. Damn it. hard to move it just the slight amount that I want. Oh my god. We're probably not going to get all these unlocked if I'm going to be that terrible at it. Oh, Alright. can't use the... apparently I can't. And just drink the water. That's fine. Eat the steak, drink the water. I actually do really like that it makes you go through the eating and drinking animations. It's kind... It, 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 it definitely makes food less effective in combat, but... Um, no, let that go. Let that go. But it makes sense, and I like it. Yeah, that 
was that was definitely rough that lock picking the um Yeah, we're already going this way. That's... Actually, I don't think there was any lock over here, was there? Frickin' fell. Alright, let's go. Nothing up here, and yeah, nothing up here. And nothing anywhere else since I... At least I can get rid of all my bottles now since I know I can't fill them with water. I thought I could. Well, thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the try, Choker, with the, uh, crossed fingers, but unfortunately... Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely put some more points into lockpicking, because lockpicking is one of my, like, I don't know, I hate passing up on loot. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna have to definitely get that lock tilt, pick skill up. Alright. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, we'll probably be back tomorrow night uh, around the same time to, uh, to continue this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate all of you uh, showing up and hanging out. Definitely awesome. And uh, yeah, we got through Good Spring. We helped everybody. Apparently we're going to be good in this playthrough since we've been so helpful. Got our lives saved, defeated the Powder Gangers. Um, 
broke all of our bobby pins and totally failed at trying to, to get that extra loot, but oh well. Uh, all in all though, I'd say it was a pretty good start. It's been a pretty good start so far. Hopefully I'll see you all back tomorrow night so that we can continue our Wasteland adventures. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends. Hey, thank you, Toker. I appreciate that. I really did. Um, I tried to make it good. And uh, hopefully I'll see you later, my friend. Now you all have a good night.